Okay, Nikki Prohovi, back with her. Coach, how's it going? Good, how are you? Very good. good. Um, what, t what teams do you coach here? I actually, I'm the head coach of youth level two. Um, I'm also the assistant coach of Tiny's level one. Okay, great. Now you have a couple here in the gym yourself. I do have two kids of my own. Uh, Tegan, she is 10 and she's on the youth level two team. Um, I also have Oceania, which is 14, and she's on the senior level four team. Great, so you're actually a parent and a coach. Absolutely. Well, on double duty. I am. <laughs> how, does, how does that work out? Um, as a coach, I'm always a coach to my kids. Um, it's hard at times to separate myself from being a parent and a coach um, with the oldest one especially because I do want to coach her uh, but we learned early on in my career and her career that we were going to just butt heads all the time so it's very easy for me to have to step back on that one and become the parent in that role. I try to coach her that doesn't do too well so I do have to play just the parent when it comes to my oldest. Well, that's good. Good. Well, you know, you guys recognize that relationship. That's yes. good. Now, coaching the younger one, though, how's that? Is it good? Um, it's good. Uh, we do butt heads from time to time, but I think that's given. Any coach is going to, you know, with their students, there's going to, it's a love-hate relationship. It's always going to be that, especially, I think, in the competitive world. You're always going to have that love-hate uh, relationship with coaches. Um, but that's the kind of relationship that Tegan and I have. Um, there's times that I love coaching her, and then there's other times that I wish I could give her to somebody else to coach, but. <laughs> But I'll take the good with the bad all day long. Of course. Now, um, now is the is the cheerleading drop as soon as you guys get home? Is it, is it time for other stuff? Is no, it kind of cheerleading is 24-7 in my house pretty much. Yeah. Um, I, I go to work. I think about cheerleading, what I'm going to do at cheerleading when I go um, to coach here and things like that. And then the girls are always texting or calling saying, do we have cheer tonight? Are we going to the gym? And I also have a son that's three um, that's in here quite often with me as well. So when I pick him up from daycare, he's usually asking, Mom, are we going to the gym today? So he gets <laughs> excited about coming in here, even though he's not a part of a team yet. Yet. Wow, so you have a total cheer family. I do, like. I do. Now, speaking of cheer family, I mean, you guys, I mean, everybody here seems like this is big, one big happy family here. It is. At, uh, at Clarksville. Um, explain, brag on, brag on the gym here a little bit. Um, Clarksville Cheer Street is very dear to me. Um, I've, I've been in the area coaching for Tiffany for a total of six years. Um, but I was here the first time because I was military as well. Um, I coached for her for four years. We had to move to Fort Benning and take two years off. And then we came back and I immediately started coaching with her again. Um, when we went to Fort Benning, I chose not to cheer for any other gym because this was so much family to me and I felt that if I went to another gym I was almost going to another family that I didn't want to leave so that's Clarksville Cheer Extreme is very dear to my heart when I was away I actually traveled to see them compete um, my parents on the youth team are very supportive in what I do um, we talking about me working with tinies and also working with youth there's two different age categories majorly there. Tiny's three to five and then youth eight to 12. So working with three to five year olds, I can't be as strict with them as I can with those youth kids. Um, at the beginning of the year, I usually sit my youth kids uh, down and the parents and kind of give them my coaching style. I am very tough. I will condition those kids through the summer uh, because I want to win. It's not all about that always, but I want to build we're going to be strong. We're going to get through this as a team. We're going to condition as a team. And I'll often get out there, condition with them, run with them, stunt with them. Um, and you'll see all of our coaches do that. So that's just part of the family. And when those parents see that support, I think that's where the real family comes into. All right. Great. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys do a great job here. We really appreciate letting us come. Yeah. And uh, you guys keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Thanks.